Okay, let me show you this. Here we go. Uh, did you see this two nights ago? We're still seeing the Perseids. Uh, this is uh, Renee Futter and Russell Graves up in uh, Dodd City. That's just to the east of Bonham in Fannin County. It's, you're going to see the aurora. Just give it a second. And you can see some of the Perseids there down there at the bottom. Is. There's the aurora. Oh. And then uh, we're going to loop this through again. You can see kind of the, see the aurora right there? Watch some of them kind of, especially down by the horizon. Because they're still going on tonight. The Perseid meteor shower is still going on tonight. So oh, you can see a couple one. of them. Yeah. yeah. So the peak was Sunday night and Monday night. Uh, but you're st you'll still see, you know, 50, 60 of them uh, tonight. And the aurora was so cool Sunday night up in the Dodd City up along the Red River. So my thanks to Renee Futter and Russell Graves. Russell, my man Russell always sends me some, some great pictures. He is just one heck of a photographer and Renee is too. So there we are. The Aurora and Dodd City along with the Perseids. So let me show you this. What causes the northern lights? I just think this is the, I've never seen these in person. Even though, uh, what was it, like a month or so ago, uh, a lot of people here in Dallas, Fort Worth, and North Texas saw them. Uh, I didn't see them, and I went home and looked and looked and looked. But anyway, the sun, it's on my bucket list. The sun, of course, we have these solar storms that send these ions and electrons hurtling toward Earth at one million miles per hour. And, and as all of that takes place, most of these electrons just bounce off our protective magnetic field. But some are able to get through where the field is at its weakest. Of course, that's at the North Pole and the South Pole. And when these electrons, when they get through, they encounter oxygen and nitrogen in the atmosphere. This is the part that's exciting is these electrons excite the oxygen and the nitrogen atoms, causing them to give off energy in the form of lights, the northern lights. OK, uh, the Perseid at peak Sunday night, still visible tonight. Just go somewhere dark and just look up. Uh, you'll, it's the debris from the comet uh, Swift-Tuttle, uh, and at the peak, you know, maybe 100 meteors per hour. And I had somebody uh, email me this morning. They said, Pete, we're in the White Rock Lake area. Where do we go? And, and there's no, like, one specific location. Just drive. I mean, you're going to have to drive pretty far away from the city to get out of the lights. I mean, if you live in uh, the White Rock area, the Dallas area, I would drive to the east. If you live in Fort Worth, I would drive to the west. Uh, and if you live, you know, Plano, Collin County, Denton County, I would start to head up toward the Red River. But again, stay away from the cities and just get out in the country, and hopefully you'll see a few of those.